Fashion Week! Yay! I'm two hours early, oh my gosh. Town. The flight was just so rocky and for anybody who's ever taken a red eye, it's not the easiest to sleep on and I was like in the very back, last row, right next to the bathroom. <sighs> At least I was in the aisle so it was okay. I was watching a movie up till the third hour and then I was like, oh, maybe I should take a shut eye so I have enough energy for the next day. And that's when a turbulence started and I am so terrified of turbulence. I absolutely hate it. And so I'm just gripping the handle, the chair, and closing my eyes, just going, it's just the wind, just the wind. Just like, I just imagined myself as a fish and the tail's whapping like back and forth. It didn't really help, but at least I thought I was a cute fish. I took a nap, but it was so hot and I didn't realize that they had AC. So I was just boiling in my sleep, just cooking myself like a little crab. So yeah, now I'm getting ready for our first show tonight, which is Erigo. Inception. Oh yeah. <laughs> shows but I'm only attending one it's kind of like a walkthrough for skate by Stevie Boy so I'm really excited to go in but it got pushed back to 3 3rd so I'm here at 3 time to walk around and be weird
get into it. <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> this is insane. I just left the Saxon Avenue party. I literally thought it was Friday instead of Thursday. And so my Apple wallet told me, hey, don't forget about this event on Thursday, which is today. And so I was literally having drinks with my friends. I go, oh my God, I have to leave right now to go to this party because it's so important. And I have this priority pass for some reason. I don't know how I got this invite, but I did. I met some of my favorite TikTokers and I met Brandon Rock who follows me back on TikTok but like we barely talk and he was just such a kind person. It was so cool. And Paris Hilton DJed. What the heck? Trying not to get run over in the middle of New York City. Kim Petras performed, G-Eazy performed. Honestly, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know who they were. And Fazio was like, oh, it's like Jay-Z. And I thought she said Jay-Z. And I was like, that doesn't look like Jay-Z. It's like a surprise performance. And I didn't tag him because I didn't know who he was. I felt really bad. I'm learning about famous people. I'm pretty satisfied with the night. Now I'm walking home. I was going to take the subway, but I was like, you know what? I'm close enough to just walk home. It's New York City. And I look fabulous. <laughs> shit together at day three. show with Negris Libram tonight and it's at 8 and then followed by an after party so I'm gonna do that but all day I plan on just vegetating and not socializing I do have a lot of FOMO because I feel like I want to go out and do stuff because I am in New York City but I have to remember like I am here on business I have shows to attend. I don't want to get sick after my trip is over by overexhausting myself. And last night, even though I didn't want to go out initially because I was really tired, I did end up actually going out and attempting to go to these after parties. And fortunately, it didn't work. So I came home at 2, which is a lot better than, you know, 4 a.m. My body feels so out of whack already.
that concludes my New York Fashion Week experience. Thank